Hello friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on December 1st, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet. And welcome to the Morning Dew. Old school. Moment of impact here. Showing our geospace magnetosphere for our pressure. This is the moment of our solar storm impact. Which happened just in the last few hours. This is showing the last four hours of solar winds. Tons of pressure on our planet right now. Heads up. Looking at our solar winds here as they were sitting at about 330 kilometers per second. And they were jacked right up over 550 kilometers per second. About an hour after impact. And those were the highest recorded solar winds so far during this solar storm. Amazing look here at our magnetosphere taking on a geomagnetic storm, a G3, level 3 geomagnetic storm, as our sun produced three coronal mass ejections over the past few days. If you haven't seen those, please see links in description. Check out some amazing images of our sun. Current space weather conditions are one minor and as well our solar winds are coming in at 540 kilometers per second showing here the last 24 hours of solar winds notable the orange the density that is up to almost 20 right now solar x-ray flux showing yet another strong solar flare strong c-class about three of them proton flux is elevating and geomagnetic activity sitting at KP7. That is a level 3 geomagnetic storm, so there will be an aurora now and throughout the day today. Mostly seen over parts of Europe, Russia. But this geomagnetic activity will continue for the next couple hours as this solar storm is making impact. Another look here at the intense auroras that could be seen across Russia and as well Tasmania in the Southern Hemisphere. This is a look at our sun the past 48 hours. Right now, SDO is not producing images for December 1st, so stay tuned for tonight's update. We'll see if they update and we'll see what's going on. Most recent two strong C-class solar flares are not in view here. Solar cycle 25 now really ramping up, which will be a maximum. Lasts for 11 years. And then we'll go back into a minimum. But quite possibly, we could be going into a very long minimum after this maximum. This maximum is predicted to be a strong one, and they're already, I mean, the sunspot numbers are almost double what they were predicting. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, you can see that big blackened region that is a coronal hole Earth-facing right now, and that is set to be uncoupled with all this solar storm activity, increased solar winds, that big coronal hole. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun. Get your daily do we'll see you for tonight's update if you enjoyed today's video please hit that like button subscribe share with your friends and family from across the world